Okay, it says um, that Fernando bought a half a pound of green app, uh, green grapes and a third of a pound of red grapes. How much more did the green weight grapes weigh than the red grapes? Well, try saying that fast, but let me go ahead and write the uh, green grapes here first. And the uh, red grapes over here, red. So the green grapes were a half a pound. And the red grapes were one third of a pound. All right. So um, let's first of all, can you tell me the common denominator? What do you think? Let me write these denominators down, the multiples down. The multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We won't go too far here. Uh, 14, 16, 18. And this goes on, so we usually use a little ellipsis to show that. The multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12. 15, 18, and so on. Whoops, 21, and so on. So what they have in common is um, they both have 18. They both have um, 12. They both have um, uh, 6, right? And I'm going to use a different color for 6. They both have six. So we could use 18, we could use 12, but wouldn't six be the easiest one to use? The easiest. So yeah, that's the one we want. And so we're gonna multiply, I'm gonna erase this bottom part here, you don't need this. Plus you can, re you can play this back later if you want. So let me just erase these numbers. We'll use six for our common denominator, our lowest common denominator. So what we'll want to do is to get a six for this first fraction, we'll need to multiply by three over three. To get a six here, we'll want to multiply by two over, it's not a very good one, by two over two. So this first fraction will, the top will be three, the bottom will be six, three times one is three, and two times three is six. Over here, one times two is two, and three times two is six. Okay, so like it says, the, um, the green grapes weigh more. They want to know how much more. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write what they said in words and then write the same thing with an equation. Okay, uh, three, three sixths is how much more, and I'm going to put how much in red. How much, how much more than two, than two sixths, okay? Now, if we wanted to write that as an equation, it's gonna be easy to solve once we write it. The is will be equal, will be represented with equals. Three sixths is, and we don't know, when we don't know how much something is, we usually call it x. And more than means plus. So this will be um, a certain amount, we'll call it x, plus 2 sixths. I'm going to write that same thing, but in a different order. I'm going to write it as uh, 3 over 6 is equal to, um, actually, I'll leave it like that. Sorry. Let me leave it like that. So my question is, if they add 2 sixths, if they add, what should we do to find x? Well, they've added right here. They've added 2 sixths to x. When, and when they add, shouldn't we subtract? We always want to do the opposite of what was already done. Okay. 
Um, yes, it's going to be one sixth, and I'm going to write down what you said. Yeah, I'm going to subtract one six. I'm sorry, I'm going to subtract two six from this side. Of course, those will cancel. And if I could fit it here, I'm going to subtract two six here. Right, two six minus two six is zero. We can cancel that, and now we'll have the x by itself, won't we? So the question here is, what's three sixths minus two sixths? Our denominator will be six, but what's three minus two? Yes, one sixth is our answer. So, and remember, x represents how much more. All right. So you're going to put one sixth for your answer. That makes sense. Do you think? Okay, good. All right. Turn this off. 